Lord, just open up everybody's spiritual life. You will supernaturalize them. Lay on coming and problems with Elijah and open my servant's eyes that they will see. Open their eyes that they will see into the supernatural. Mark was talking about that earlier. We just grin. All can prophesy. All can speak in tongues. All can do. He saw something too. Tell them what you saw. Uh, when she was hugging Franklin, I saw Jesus, where she was wrapped around me. And I saw. Are you talking about the young lady at that point? Yes, okay. He knows what you just watched. He's talking to you. Yeah, I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus where she was wrapped mm -hmm. yeah, his arms around me. Oh. And I, I told you he was here. <laughs> <laughs> I saw um, our dad, where you were, where we were praying for people, mm -hmm. him reaching out. And I saw lots of mm -hmm. glory and lots of fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. See, if you do it right, it's not your idea. And I keep telling you, you can do what I can do in greater, because you can do what Jesus can do in greater. Sometimes it looks like we're messing around. And we find out more people get activated when we're kind of doing this and showing this and kind of looks like goofing around with religious people. And I never wanted to be a teacher. I always wanted to be a demonstrator. I started riding horses and putting rodeos on. I was two, three, four. And you know you had some cowboys that had a big hat and boots and they couldn't ride. They weren't cowboys. It's the same way in the ministry. If you can do the works, then you're a minister. If you can't do the works, go find Bill Palmer like we were used to be. And the Bible says that. Believers will do these things. Well, you should be a believer if you're a minister. You should be able to do what the Bible says you can do. And, and the Holy Ghost should confirm your word. What the word says. So, any other needs, we're here to help you. Oh, come on. You're making this hard on us. My mom. Okay. Go ahead. And, ma'am, did you get what you come for? <laughs> My daughter is a little out of frame. Actually, can I speak to your wife, please? But did you get what you came for? Come here a minute, we'll make it quick. <laughs> All right, Lord. That's not funny. Whatever you need, when I touch it, God's going to give it to you. Life in Jesus' name. I used to have these long prophetic words, and God said, You know, I can put it in something or I can just put it in. You know. <laughs> what? I was blind, blind. I don't have faith for blind eyes. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know that. We had two blind eyes open up Arkansas for the Life in Jesus' name. Both of them. Both of them be totally healed at all. Open up his eyes. Let him have these. You ain't going to believe it, but I had a visitation by Jesus, and now I can see. Yes. What happened to me both times. Jesus walked into my room, and I walked out with new eyes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. How are you doing now? Do you get any pain? Is what I'm asking. Well, I know it's all related. I just want to know where your pain level was. Lord, right now, whatever's holding it back, just let it go. You're going to be healed and whole from this point forward. 
<laughs> me, I wouldn't receive because I didn't think I was worthy because I did something that made God mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm a lie from the devil. He paid a dear price. Did he pay for all your healing or just some of it? Did he pay for all your sin or just some of it? Did he pay for all your freedom or just some of it? Did he pay for all the curses or just some of them? So he paid for all of everything already, right? So he bought and paid for you. He might as well just claim everything. Amen. See, traditions we've been built up over the last 2,700 years of age stop people from receiving a free gift. He's not teaching you something by making you hurt. That's a lie from the pit of hell. If he wanted to tell you something, he's not to you. It probably scared the hell out of you when he showed up the first time. And he said it first, so that's why I said it. <laughs> and he's supposed to. You don't want any of the devil on you, around you. Where's my wife going? Back there. <laughs> She gets back here and I call people up. It made me do it. I offered and offered and offered. Yeah. Oh, no, that's against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but Barry was talking about saying a prayer. Here. Finish your joke. I knew you were going to make me work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I do it all the time, you don't get trained up. It said to make disciples. It didn't say to have everybody sit and listen to me. I was coming up here to be behind her. I get to be yeah. in front of <laughs> In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, life. Yes. Life. Hmm. Man, I can feel it going out. Feels <laughs> <laughs> good. Feels <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Life more. <laughs> I, I heard a minister a couple days ago, and it's one of the traditions, you know. It was a one time event where the woman issue of blood touched the hem. My Bible said it was common practice. It was their custom that people would run up and touch Jesus to get healed. Yep. Right? It wasn't a one, but we teach it like it was a one time event. Only the one woman got healed. That's not what the word said. What? I was I was never taught that. Well, read your book. Is it written? See, the written word is the most accurate prophetic word you can do. That's why the singing prayers work, because you're not adding to or taking away from the word. You're just agreeing with it and declaring it out. And when you sing, you're singing out of your spirit instead of your intellect. I mean, how much power comes out of your brain? How many scriptures tell you to be led by your brain? You are a spirit. You have a brain. Really, you as a spirit being. Yeah. Well, I don't remember about heaven unless somebody pulls it out prophetically because my brain, my memory bank, didn't go to heaven by it. Right. When you're in heaven, you know all things because you don't have your brain in the way keeping you from it. Wow. When you come back in your body, all of a sudden you're dumb again. Wow. Well, God's no respect for person, so if he lets one do it, he has to let all do it. And some of us just learned how to go one spirit out of your belly comes the river of the living water. Your brain agrees that your spirit is leading, and then miracles happen. It can be by a word, or it can be by a touch. And we've demonstrated that here last time, and several times. People just tried to come up and touch me, and I only do that with a special lady. In the normal lady, I do the word. It says believers lay hands on the sick. It doesn't say believers lay hands on the sick only when the Holy Ghost tells them 25 more times. He does that because you missed it. Some do it because they know it's the right thing to do. And that's what got on you the other day. She says, I got around you and I just had to pray for that lady. And she said, no, so I didn't anyway. <laughs> there you go, that's such it. 
I get people healed even if they don't want to. And sometimes they're easier. But then I turn into that John Wayne. Boom! <laughs> You're gonna get them whether they like it or not. I was in church Wednesday night. And we had this special group that came in to sing and minister. And one of the ladies, she walked with <coughs> three legged canes. She had had surgery on her knee and it wasn't right. And so she asked, could she have prayer? And so we all gathered around her. And my pastor asked if he anoint her knee and pray over her knee. And God told me, he says, reach down and grab her hand. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. And she, said, she started walking with me all around that church. Look at walk and walk and walk. I would believe my own eyes that I knew it was God doing the work. <laughs> Send the help. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I see fire. 
Hallelujah. That he's going to sit down among your ministry. He's going to sit it as far as to sit on your ministry. The fight is going to sit on your ministry. It's not going to be stagnated. It's going to just, it's just going to sit. And everything that you do as far as from this day forward, God has already sanctioned it. He's already validated. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God. Shit. I even see, he even said overseas. Ah, shit. Overseas. I don't know if I can talk to you about that. I don't know if y'all can talk to each other, but he said overseas. But I just saw the water, he just said, when I saw the water in the ocean, he said overseas. Amen. Amen. So this, this is going to be a massive uh, ministry. It's going to be so massive. And you are going to have to have help in every state that you actually hit. You're going to have to have help everywhere you go. I don't know who God is going to send, but they're going to have to be anointed and appointed. They, they cannot actually come in because God isn't allowed to be contaminated. He's not going to allow them to be polluted. Watch the wind. And I know you're going to allow to have some witches and warlocks, but you're going to have some general witches and warlocks to try to come up against what God is getting ready to do. But God is going to already shut it down before it even happens. <laughs> because the enemy is already defeated. Amen. Uh, glory be to God. But God is going to really do a massive, a massive, a massive. That's why I keep hearing massive. It's massive with this ministry. I mean, y'all have not seen nothing yet. This is nothing what you see. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. And just believe him. And, and, and know that he's there every step of the way. Everything you do from this day forward. That he's in it. Amen. Yeah. I had two words of knowledge. I heard Germany. You going to Germany? I heard Germany, and also I heard finances will come. Those two words I heard in the spirit. But specifically, Germany. You going to Germany? <laughs> That's where you never come. That is where you want to go. I got a German name. It's funny because I was at the John Lake Annual Conference four years ago, and the guy walks up and said, David Lake. I'm like, what? I'm lost. Because it means lake in German. Oh. Oh. Wow. People ask me, like, and I haven't been, I'm not a steady or not, but I get the highlights where God showed me the revelation of what they did right. And I can pick up some of the other ministries by an habit. He said, how can you say that? I don't know, it's just natural. If we don't pray for you, we blast it off of you. And that's what Lake said a hundred years ago. I didn't know that until two years ago. We don't have begging prayers. We tell the devil and we're the devil what they have to go. That's what T.L. Osborne, who was kind of taking the next generation, that's what God showed me. I walked into my first spirit-filled church. I didn't know what a spirit-filled church was right after I got the other four books. A total stranger walked up and said, I want to give you this. I tried to buy it. I'm, you know, <laughs> for it. And he said, you wouldn't rob me of my blessing and giving it to you. Hmm. But I opened it up to page one and I started reading out loud in the lobby. And a lady about that far away Started shaking. Says, what are you doing to me? I said, I ain't doing nothing. I know who it is. <laughs> and a crooked fingers, carpal tunnel, and I just left it. Wow. Yeah. It's all this. Look, that's what I, I had been diagnosed with carpal tunnel, which turned from my neck. Yeah, carpal tunnel in your neck? Yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. Do you have any now? Then no. Purple tunnel, you go in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you go. Get off her. I never wanted to be accused of pushing people over, so I get a hold of them again. <laughs> <laughs> God also said when she was interpreting what she's saying, God also gave me a word for you that the people are going to come by droves and by throngs. And it's going to be so many to you can't contain them. And I see you on a body of water. 
get on a boat mm -hmm. preaching the gospel. And all you're having to do is go thump, thump, thump. You're not even touching them. You're just plucking at them and they're falling like flies. Me and you. Patty's the best person about getting out of here when you guys got glasses. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need the word obvious. You don't need a word of medicine to know they got glasses on. Right? There's no problem. Right? If you got contacts, come on. Read your glasses out of the water. Don't pray, just receive. Turn to put water in the running pot. Light. 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 Ha, ha, ha. 